Jason Page here from LightPaintingPhotography.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use steel wool to create a fire effect in your light painting photography. It's going to be a couple things that you're going to need for this. You're going to need a camera, a tripod, uh, well a camera that does a long exposure photograph, preferably something like 30 seconds, or you can use a uh, plug-in timer. Oh, what's it called? You're going to need steel wool for this, obviously. And what you're going to look for is the finest grade steel wool you can get. This uh, steel wool comes in a couple different grades, all the way from four zeros, quadruple zero, all the way up to uh, number three. The higher the number, number three will be a very coarse uh, steel wool. The finer, the quadruple zero is going to be the finest grain steel wool. You want the finest grain steel wool that you can find because it's going to give you better sparks. It's going to give you just an overall better picture. Right. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need is something to spin the wool around with. I have a wire whisk here, and this works really well for spinning steel wool. You can just jam the wool in here. It holds it well. You don't want it flying off. Because the steel wool is very flammable, you're lighting it on fire and it will burn everything around you. If it falls onto something dry, it will set it on fire. This stuff will burn your house down, it'll burn your neighbor's house down, it'll burn your girlfriend's house down, and if you want to burn your girlfriend's house down, this is a great way to do it and it'll look like an accident. When you're working with steel wool, you should wear safety gear. Uh, I've got on gloves and a hoodie, you usually wear some kind of eye protectant, but I forgot it, so I'm just going to risk it. If I go blind, it's going to be your fault. And the last thing that you're going to need, you're going to need a lighter or some people use a 9 volt battery. I just like to use the lighter, it just works. But a 9 volt battery, if it's really windy out, a 9 volt battery works great because you don't have to light it and this thing in the wind can be a nightmare. Really good. What you want to do is take this stuff out and fluff it up. That way you're going to let the air get in there, the fire is going to burn, it's going to blow this stuff up and you're going to have sparks all over the place which is what you really want. And you're going to take this steel wool and you're going to jam it in this whisk here. You get it right up in there in the center like that. This thing works great, like I said. It holds it right in there. You don't have to worry about it flying out and setting everything on fire. We're going to shoot this at um, uh, 30 second exposure, ISO 100, and F11. All right. Something I wanted to point out is this stuff and now it's it's basically a ball of burning hot metal. So when you're done with this, make sure you don't touch it, you will burn yourself. All right, so let's check out the image that we just got. And there you go, a circle of fire with a bunch of sparks flying off of it. So that's basically it. I hope this gives you some idea how to use steel wool in your light painting photography. The hundred different ways you can use this stuff and it will create some really cool effects for you. Um, just a couple things you want to watch out for. You want to make sure you're getting the finest grade steel wool that you can find. It will give you the best results. You want to make sure you're not near something you're going to burn down, unless of course you want to burn down your girlfriend's house. And third, you want to make sure you're wearing some kind of safety gear. I recommend gloves, some eye protection, and maybe a hoodie just to keep this stuff off you because it falls on you, it will burn you, and it does hurt. I'm Jason Page for LightPaintingPhotography.com. Please check out the website, like our Facebook page, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. I feel like that tutorial sucked.